Mike Fairlack here to entertain you before I lose the daylight with the help of the Joiky Boys <laughs> and a character I believe, if I remember correctly, they call Sal Rosenberg. <laughs> Yes, uh, I wanted to know if I could speak a bit on an accident that I've had. Yeah, when? Uh, about two weeks ago. What type of accident? It was a motorbike. Who was on the bike? You? Well, just me, right. And what happened? It, well, I had a sidecar on it, you know those things? Right. And I was speeding all over my neighborhood. Right. Up and down and speeding all over. Right. And I was drinking and I lost control of the bike. Right. And I was skidded off and slammed a curb in a pole and into some people. Right. And, uh, yeah, well, you know, nobody's hurt extremely bad, but a few breaks and things. So what are you looking to do? I, I want to look for some consultation what I should do here. For what? Because they probably have lawsuits against me. I would expect so, yeah. Right, right. I had oh. to give my insurance papers and I didn't have a license. <laughs> what? Did you have insurance? Oh. Yeah, but it was through a friend. But will you, will, will you be covered? Well, I don't know. Well, that the, the insurance company will appoint a lawyer for you. He doesn't know if you're going to be covered? <laughs> But when you get sued, you may be hiding on your policies. When you get sued above your policy, if you have a policy, then you're going to have to contact a lawyer. Right. I don't handle cases like that. Right. But th is it possible in any way then to sue you people? Sue who? You. I'm asking you for help. Sue who? Me? Yes. Why do you want to sue me? Well, I'm trying to explain. I had a terrible accident. What's that to do with me? Well, I'm asking you for help, and uh, maybe I could sue for punitive damages that you're giving me. <laughs> I'm giving you? Yes. Me? Yes. <laughs> what I do to you? Well, punitive damages. <laughs> I'm, I'm a lawyer. What did I do to you? The sidecar smashed into a pole. And I'm trying to explain this to you. Hey, well, you want to sue me? Why not? Me? Sue everybody. I can't help you. Hello? Yeah. The people that you work with and handle, I probably will sue them too because I'm not going to handle. Who do I, I don't talk about? Well, I had a terrible accident, sir. Yo, and who are my clients? I'm sorry. I just, I'm all upset about this. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you can't help me then? No. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> the fact... The, the, what makes that so funny is the fact that the lawyer on the phone... <laughs> <laughs> he he re, he re, he's able to recapture his composure, but for a split second, when he tells him, I'm going to sue you for punitive damages <laughs> that you're giving me. <laughs> oh, oh, man, I think the reason I find that so damn funny is because <laughs> that's exactly how my father views the legal system. <laughs> Till this day, <laughs> he still talks about how <laughs> he's gonna uh, get a lawyer. His friends are gonna get a, help him get a lawyer, and he's gonna sue Family Services for taking me, me, myself, and my two sisters' custody away from him back in 1989. <laughs> I think that's why I find that so damn funny. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> but then that is the world that the, uh, that is the, uh, society that the Democratic Party has helped create. No accountability and everyone is a perpetual victim. <laughs> Happy times! <laughs> oh, <God>. oh. <laughs> the Jikey Boys, a character called Sal Rosenberg. Because <laughs> that's exactly what how my father talked to. We're gonna sue them all! <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> oh, another anecdote I can share with you. My father, he calls me the other night. He's all excited. He says, I know where Taj Mahal lives. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, we could go visit him. <laughs> and he could tell us stories about... <laughs> He could tell us stories about when he was with uh, Rock and Roll Circus with the Rolling Stones and John Lennon. I know where Taj Mahal lives. My friends are going to get me his phone number.
<laughs> I asked him, are these the same friends that you keep telling me about are going to help you find a lawyer so you can sue family services <laughs> for taking custody of myself and my sisters away from him back in 89? <laughs> he said, no. <laughs> oh, so it's a whole nother group of imaginary friends. <laughs> Oh, God. I know Taj Mahal. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I actually forgot <laughs> to bring my phone in <clears throat> with me to work this morning. A sign of s sanity in today's world. <laughs> That's a sheer sign of sanity. <laughs> Oh, guys, I'm losing the daylight, so I guess I'm going to have to end this one. So I'll end with a quote that I came across uh, I, that kind of, uh, maybe, actually two, two, uh, two quotes. Well, one quote and one meme. I'll say the meme first. The meme is, uh, the uh, uh, Biden voters are like flies. No matter how much they try, the bees can't convince them that pollen is better than shiot. <laughs> That <laughs> cracked me up today. <laughs> but no, the quote I came across, I gotta share is, when a man makes it in life, when a man makes it in life, he thinks, can I support a family? When a woman makes it in life, she thinks, now I don't need a man. <laughs> so you tell me, which is the more selfish outlook? Which is the more selfish creature? The one with the uh, masculine mind, masculine brain, or the feminine one? <laughs> A movie my mom liked <laughs> growing up comes to mind. Earth girls are easy. <laughs> oh, God. All right, I'm losing the daylight, so I'm going to have to end it. Mike Perlack, thank you for your time.